So this isn't exactly the video that I had planned uh, coming back to uh, YouTube after a week off, but I was literally editing two videos and then this news popped up where free eBay fees. And I was like, hmm, it's not April Fool's Day anymore. Um, but I checked into it and apparently it's true. Um, eBay have scrapped seller fees on clothing, but for private sellers. So this is just like my personal thoughts on it. First off, first instincts, it's for private sellers only. And if you are a private seller uh, that's selling clothing, it doesn't apply to jewelry, handbags, or shoes trainers. Third thing, this is a direct response to what's happening on Vinted and on Depop and to a lesser extent in America on Macari because it's only happening in the UK as far as I know, uh, this free fee thing. Definitely followed Vinted's lead when it comes to um, free fees. Is it a desperate ploy or a calculated risk? Why this isn't technically a good thing or why I don't think this is a good thing? Um, where are they gonna make up that shortfall? Granted that private sellers that sells predominantly clothing is probably a tiny fraction of their total income. But when you think that there are probably around 20 odd million eBay sellers in the UK, and we are the second biggest exporter of secondhand clothing in the world. It comes to about half a billion. Uh, check it out, it's really interesting. A lot of the clothes that we actually send off is to Ghana so there you go um for them to package up and then resell back to us i think in these big uh, bales but uh yeah there, there was adi apatan did a whole documentary on it a few years ago it's really interesting we have one of the biggest uh fast fashion industries in the world and yeah they basically ebay have kind of like a lot of the i've read a lot of the news articles on it and um ebay have kind of said like oh well we have hundreds of millions of pounds in our wardrobe that we never use so we might as well sell it on ebay hmm okay they're coming across like oh reduce your carbon footprint you know save the planet but give us a big chunk of the money that's kind of like what i've read <laughs> in the middle of it so where are they going to get the money from the shortfall from well the one thing is they're going to put might put up the fees for business sellers i mean they already have across the board because a lot of us resellers we are actually just selling on vinted anyway so it's like they're completely missing the large majority of the people that could benefit from this the most, the general public, will they benefit from it just by attracting people? They'd rather sell it on Vinted anyway. They could get the fees from other categories. They could price up them. They could not give out their dividends to shareholders, which I'm one. <laughs> um, but it's my belief that they are trying to attract the amount of people that have left the platform to come back that is obviously like oh look free fees everyone and everyone will be like oh look look free fees that's what they hope so this cost will benefit them in the long run i think that's what they they're hoping general population they don't just sell like a top they'll put up oh while i'm here i'll put up this toy i'll put up this i'll put up that they'll add extra things and I think that's what they're counting on eBay. Okay, so why this won't work? Um, because people, the general population, or I'm going to, I'm calling them gen pops like they're like prisoners, but they kind of have been um, for a long time uh, digitally, <laughs> e-commerce wise, because eBay was the, like, the number one place to go. That was the only place to go. They had like a, almost a monopoly on it come to uh, use clothing. But now with the rise of like Vinted, Depop and all that kind of stuff, people have got choice. And of course, it wasn't necessarily about the, fee the free fees on Vinted. I mean, it was, let's be honest. It was also about the ease you could actually list it. Now I can't, there's something like six or seven things you've got to fill in on Vinted. There's like 20 odd on eBay and it's ridiculous. Even as a clothing reseller or an everything reseller, you, ha you spend ages having to put it there. With Vinted, you literally just put it up. Some of the stuff is already filled in because of the AI that they use, which is really smart, but it's dead easy simple to use item specifics drive me insane because the stuff there that you do not need and yet it keeps on reminding you oh you've got nine item specifics you need to fill out no i don't because they don't apply to the listing it really annoys me <laughs> it really annoys me but uh yeah vintage doesn't have that you can literally picture it list it done 
Um, yes, you've got free fees. Yes, it's easier to use. Um, one thing, and it's one thing that in terms of eBay, uh, vintage buyers, it's so much easier to scroll through. It's so much easier just to scroll through and just to buy or like or whatever, or, you know, on there eBay is actually quite a tricky beast to kind of navigate. Yeah, you can type in what you want and it'll come up. I find it easier on a desktop than I do on a mobile phone, but I find Vinted easier on a mobile phone. And that's the majority of what people are buying these days on mobile phones. So it's easier to use, it's simpler to list, and it's addictive to scroll in terms of being a buyer. Uh, plus also, yeah, this is a little caveat. There's no liking system on eBay. There's a watching system so you can watch something which it works for us as sellers because we can send them offers and what you know what i mean and even on vintage if someone likes it you can send them an offer so it's kind of the same thing but watching something and liking something liking is very social media jargon and it kind of gets that kind of ooh, addiction kind of watching something doesn't have the same kind of feel to it Watching something is a bit kind of creepy. It's like, hello. <laughs> it's like, so why is this a good thing? Well, obviously it could actually pay off. They are the biggest player in town. You've got more eyes on eBay than any other platform combined. So it could actually pay off. Now more listings means more inventory, which means more traffic. And the more people come onto the platform, they're going to be buying more. So they're not just going to be buying off your general kind of seller it's driving their eyes and their attention back onto the platform and i think we've got to kind of be ready for that <laughs> that um could it reduce costs in the long run when has that ever happened never um one good thing is though it's making ebay aware and it's making them like it's showing us that they're listening to the market they've seen the market change and they're pivoting and they're adapting that's good. That's good. Are they listening to us resellers, like business resellers? No, because <laughs> this would have been the best kind of news if it was for business sellers. More people, they would have basically shut down Vinted if more re if eBay basically came along and simplified their platform and gave reseller businesses free fees on clothing. They would have been laughing. Now you've got to remember, free fees on clothing. Yeah, okay, that's good. But Vinted offer free fees on clothing and everything else. On Vinted, you can have like a shop where you've got clothing, but then you can also have like electronics, toys, um, shoes. You can have everything. Everything's free fees. So it's like they're trying to mitigate or by taking a big wedge out. And I don't think it's going to work. So it's making eBay more competitive. Now, what it shows is that the eBay monopoly is disintegrating. And they are scared. And when they, if they say that they're not, they're lying because they are. Um, they have. I know for a fact. I've I've spoken to about three or four different uh, clothing resellers, and they have been offered golden handshake uh, contracts where basically they get sixty percent off, fifty to sixty percent off free fees for like say six months or to a year if they signed an exclusive contract with eBay. This is even before this has happened, by the way. So they are getting, and these are big sellers as well, big clothing sellers. So they are getting desperate. They're trying everything they can to mitigate. And the thing is, I hope it does work. I hope it does. Because if it doesn't, what's going to happen if they keep on losing all that, all the sellers move over to Vinted and then all the buyers keep going over to Vinted or to Depop? <laughs> they're going to just keep putting up the fees to pretend that they're, they're doing okay. That's how they've survived so far. And it's not going to work anymore. So I think their monopoly is disintegrating and I think it is coming to the point where it's going to be a death by a thousand cuts. Which leads me to the next piece of information that's kind of was, was put in there a bit slyly. And that's eBay live selling. Now we've known that eBay live selling is being touted in America at the moment. It's slowly kind of like coming out of beta phase. And <clears throat> there is a website front for the eBay live selling and you can register your interest. This is a, a direct response to Poshmark live selling and it's a direct response to what not selling. It is the area of our business which has the most growth, I feel. 
And I think that Whatnot has really kind of like got off the ground running. They've really cornered a market in terms of collectibles and they're starting to open it up to every other platform. Now, I don't actually sell on there just yet. I can sell on there now, <laughs> but I haven't had my first show video incoming. Um, but it is a good thing. Um, it's coming to the UK in 2024. They're saying that they're going um, to ask a few sellers to do their first thing. So I don't know if they're going to ask clothing sellers. I know that they're probably going to ask um, trading card sellers. Yeah, so whatnot. I think over here as well, we've got something called Tilt. Tilt is like uh, an up and come one. I keep seeing that pop up on my feed uh, and apparently it's quite good. So we'll have to see. I think what they're going to have to realise, though, eBay, is that if they want our business on their live selling platform, they're going to have to sweeten the deal. They're going to have to do better because there's so much, like, Depop, for all of its faults, Poshmark did offer a few bits here and there and whatnot is trying to offer a few bits to try and get people on. I mentioned earlier, is it a desperate ploy? Or is it a calculated risk? Well, I think everything that eBay does is a calculated risk. However, they are kind of getting a bit desperate. And I think they need to be a bit more sweet to sellers because we'll just go to all the platforms now. They know that. So balls in their court again. Uh, what do you think? Is this good or is this bad? Um, what are your thoughts? Will it increase fees for us business sellers or will it... Have a not have a positive knock on effect and drive more people to the platform. Who knows? But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. I tried to get this out really quickly. <laughs> Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.